Hi, my name is James Horsley and I'm a real estate consultant with BK. People may not know uh, that I worked at a mental hospital for nine years. That was very interesting. Uh, I met a lot of interesting people, uh, both who I worked with and who I assisted, uh, who were the uh, patients there. So that was very interesting. That's where One Food and Cooking Nest was filmed at the hospital that I worked in. Um, also, people do not know uh, that I'm a golfer, uh, except for Brian. Brian knows that I'm a golfer and he wants to golf and I'm all for that. My favorite genre of music is uh, like alt indie stuff. Um, I'm not a pop guy, I'm not, I do not like country. Uh, so as far as bands, um, a lot of stuff probably that people, most people haven't heard of. Um, so I'm not going to go there. Christian music as well, um, Switchfoot, Reliant K, uh, Phil Wickham. I like tacos. If I had to survive on anything, it would be tacos. Um, taco Tuesday, Taco Wednesday, Taco, taco every day. Well, obviously, if you're stranded, you would want some way to communicate to get off the island. But, let's say that that's off the table. Um, tacos. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what one thing, probably uh, something to pass the time music would be great. I would love to uh, do photography, actually. Um, I, I enjoy it. I just never got into it, buying a nice camera. Uh, and putting the, the time and effort into learning is just something I could never do, but I love photography and videography, I would definitely do that. I've been in real estate just since um, I was licensed in December, so not a very long time, just a few months. Um, I'm a newbie, and so I signed on with BK in January uh, of this year, 2018, so uh, learning a lot, but not, not a very long time. Uh, I decided to get into real estate um, after many years at a job that uh, was a good job, but I was dissatisfied, I wanted something different, and around that time, um, my, my partner in the Covenant Group, uh, who's also my brother-in-law, Travis Williams, uh, gave me the, the um, opportunity to move, kind of start a new career, um, and I, I took advantage of that. And here it I think what people forget is that uh, homes are tied very much to the, the owner, the seller's um, life, and they put a lot of things into their house usually, so when they sell them, uh, they don't like to have low offers sometimes. Um, people kind of approach home buying uh, like it's a swap meet, and they just kind of throw an offer out there, um, just, oh, so let's see if this works. Uh, and sometimes the seller uh, doesn't appreciate that, and they can reject the offer because you know, their blood, sweat, and tears went in that house and they care about it, so they want to be offer. So I think just people need to keep in mind uh, that when they're, when they're approaching home buying. The most challenging aspect has been all of the, the learning that I've had to do, not coming from the industry, uh, not coming from um, the sales background. There's a lot to it, obviously. Um, and I'm a kind of a perfectionist, so I like to really know what I'm doing, if I'm going to do something. And so there's been a lot to learn and that's been a challenge, but um, I'm facing it and doing all right. The most rewarding thing uh, about real estate so far has just been all the people that I've met and been able to work with. Um, some great contacts, some great people, uh, and at, at BK as well. I've only been here a few months. Uh, everyone's been awesome. Very nice, very good to work with, and I, I really appreciate that.